Hey there, my name is Dan, and by the end of this video you'll learn about the amazing clipping mask and how it crops images for your Photoshop web design mockup. This particular video is a free extract from my course called How to Make Money Building Professional Website Mockups Using Photoshop. If you're serious about making money as a web designer, there's a discount code for you in the description. Alright, that's enough sales, let's start cropping images like a pro. Alright, in this video we're going to look at how to use a clipping mask. Now a clipping mask is a really great way of cropping an image down to use. Let's see what the final product's going to look like. It's the square image here and I'm going to show you how to do that with what's called a clipping mask. First thing is let's turn this eyeball off on our image books layer and what we do is we start with a rectangle. I'm going to turn my guides back on, command colon, okay, and I want it to span say four guides here. I want it to be a perfect square so what I do is I hold down shift while I'm dragging it and can you see it locks the height and width along? Okay, so I'm going to drag it so it fits across these four. Now it doesn't really matter what color we're going to use at the moment because clipping masks don't matter that much. I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to move it down a little bit so it's kind of in the center of my box. And what I want to do now is I'm going to pop him in and I'm going to turn my image back on. Now my image needs to be a bit more of an appropriate size for this square. So I'm going to use my, with a layer selector, I'm going to use my transform tool, Command T, okay, or Control T on a PC, and I'm going to holding the shift key down on the corners to lock the height and width, otherwise it ends up kind of stretching it and distorting it. So I'm going to use the shift key down and I'm not too worried that it's going to be perfect around here. I'm kind of cropping it in for effect. I'm going to hit enter when it's transforms done. And what I need to do is I need to make sure that the image is above my rectangle. I'm going to rename this rectangle and let's call this one the, this one's the um, who image. It's on my who we are page. Okay, so he's underneath. Now what I want to do is crop this guy, okay, which is the uh, image about the books, to the square. To do it, the easy way is with the image layer selected, hold down the Alt key. Can you see this little icon here with the box with the arrow? This is going to turn the top image and bottom image and join them together and make a clipping mask. You can see what's happened in the structure here in the layers and you can see what's happened over here in my actual image. I'm going to turn my guides off to make it pretty. The beauty of it is that this kind of who box underneath here and this image is actually, they're actually separate so I can move them around. So what I can do is let's say that uh, the box I want to crop slightly differently and um, I have it selected here and watch this with my move tool, I can move it around. Can you see I can kind of move it around and adjust it. It's like a little window. Likewise, the image underneath can be moved around. The box around can be moved around to find where you need to go. Now what you want to be careful of is if you want to move them both together, you need to hold command down and click them both. Okay. With them both selected, I can move them around. Now, if you want to move them around permanently together, well, not have to select them both, is you can right-click these two, okay, after they're selected, and there's one in here that says Link Layers. You see this little linking icon appears? Just means that if I have, say, my background back here selected, and then I go back and click just one of these two guys, you can see just one of them selected, they both come along for the right because they're being linked. If you need to unlink them, right-click them, and there's one in here that says unlinked layers. I'm going to leave my link for the moment. Now I love to share so I made a few of these videos free. Of course though I'd love for you to go on and do my full course of over 50 videos. There's a discount code in the description. Please like and subscribe and hide it our good YouTube people. Now I'm saluting and waving but you can't see that can you? <laughs>